But I think if you know, I hate having this is the one thing that I I don't like about combat in these styles of games, where I'm actually thinking if we can just get her to charge in and get a crit on the first turn and hit it for like 40 to 50 and do half half its health damage and then we can kill it. It's kind of like we're trying to you know just take a 20 on on that happening. Potion has to be on the person. We can do that. <clears throat> you can just put it in their belts. Um, which I think you can, you can do it any... I don't know if you... Maybe you can't do it during combat. She can vanish. And then um, she can vanish and then... So that's not a bad option. If she's charging in, she could vanish. And then flank it when the other ones get in. That sound dumb? I do. Um, Harem's got one, but by the time he gets in there and gets it cast, it's too late. Um, Lindsay, though, is able to get one off that makes the boar easier to hit. <sighs> Harem's actually got a couple, but... Outdoor adventures are good for skin and body shape, but they just ruin the hair. <laughs> Did that not get cast on her? Adventures call to them. Yeah, I was thinking about that. I probably should. There's a couple save slots, so I'm not completely locked into it. What for Gollum? That's a regular hit. Smear's deal with a pig. Uh, it's like something from her rituals back home where 
she was um, sexist against because she girl. I'm supposed to be a warrior. Can't quite tell who the pig's trying to attack now. And Tusk got a spots Amory. Is she not getting through? <laughs> Might actually be working. but I don't like it. Come on. I'll survive. I always survive. That's... <sighs> I mean, I guess I, I should know that, but I, th it's, I guess you remember dumb rules. Um, basically, that was any... <laughs> Anyone within melee range of of another person, when you cast a spell or, or a range attack, you create an opportunity of attack for that person, even if they're engaged against someone else. So he got a free shot. The boar got a free shot on um, Harem because he cast a spell, even though the boar was trying to attack... Um, Valerie. Harem cast a spell. The boy's like, oh, you're casting a spell. Free hit. Which would be really great if you were like a fighter and a whole bunch of casters were circled around you because you'd just stand there going, free hit, free hit, free hit, free hit, free hit, free hit. You know? It's like... She's dead dead and I don't think I've got a scroll so we might just... What? A miserable... Get him, Jeff. Chapter. I wonder what lies beyond. Strangely enough, I was trying to cast a spell that was going to make it harder for um, <laughs> for the board to actually hit. Hey, Abe, how you doing, man? Uh, that's sad. I think that was actually a winning a winning op opportunity there. Um, let's actually I'll make a proper save. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, the problem is when you're not on hard, you don't need to cast any abilities. You can literally just auto attack to win. So any ability casting that or spell casting you do is uh, purely to appease someone that they're oh, I'm playing uh, so you really you don't have a choice in the matter you you know there's <clears throat> you know it's either play on hard or just or play on story I mean there's the, the strange thing is there's a bunch of op difficulties in between but they all do nothing um, I mean they do something technically it just means like if you play on story, you can one-shot things with an auto attack. If you play on easy, you two-shot things on auto attack. If you play on normal, you three-shot things on auto attack. Um, on all of those settings, nothing kills you either. Uh, and if you play on challenging, uh, you, you might someone might get downed. So using the abilities technically might speed things up because it also takes four shots on normal to kill stuff. Um, and so, and yeah, someone might get down. So you do actually have an impact, kind of, um, to the point that you might not need to heal as much after combat if you do it well. But you don't have to. You could, you can turn all the auto pause off, just run them into combat, go make a coffee, come back, and combat will be over, and you'll be, and you would have won. 
which is okay, but you know, and I love stories. I love the stories in games and the interactions and things, which is one of the sides of this that I like. But I also want to play. So yeah, I, I need to get good. <laughs> Because then you bump it up to hard and you actually die. Um. Right, so we're doing all the buffages and then I'll do a quick save since I did a hard save there. Play on hard till the troll boss in the Dwarven Fortress. Nice. Yeah, if that changes somewhere down the line where hard gets even harder, then I might consider dropping it down, but... Ah, oh, that's okay. There's a dwarf, there's a, a Dwarven Fortress and a Troll Boss. That's not really a big surprise. Alright. We'll do buffs to do a quick save. The other thing, too, that was really bad in that last attempt... If I'd tried to move Harem so that he could have cast um, the Bane, he would have also created an opportunity of attack. So once he goes into melee, like, you can't do anything. You can just swing. I think that's why he's so awful. What's the hold up? Ready and willing. Maybe we just don't put him in the front line. And he can not attack. That's so dumb. Patience. Does he have a cantrip? <laughs> Do not drink the coffee if you trip. <clears throat> Alright, maybe we do something different hmm. then. I'm gonna have to remember this as well. Boop. Okay. Don't know, but we're dumping him as soon as they get um, uh, Tristian anyway. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm gonna have to put potions in her belt. Here I am. See. Oh, she's already got them. So these all take a standard action. So that's the problem with them. She can drink them, but. The invis paid off though. That was worth it, but I think the the bear must have mi the ball must have missed. Okay, the ball missed while I was drinking the potion. <clears throat> so I can't rely on that. So unless I don't get the first swing just to let the, the other two get in there, like she just runs up and tanks one, then drinks the, like, runs up and instead of hit, hitting, just drinks the potion and tanks one. Interesting. Yeah, so it was luck. Cool. Just letting the ink dry. Are you scared?
one second. Yeah, so we need. We just need to high roll, and we win, right? Um, she can go in with a heal. Both miss. Feels bad. I'll survive. I always survive. Save. I can't keep this up much longer. It's because you suck. Work, Lindsay. <clears throat> Lost. So we did do more than half <clears throat> damage to it, but what a miserable. I mean, I could have stopped it, but there's no point. Okay, let's go with. I'm gonna have to go. I think we're just gonna have to go f full deeps, so and I don't like it. Do we have any sleep or stun spells? I don't think so. Uh, we've got a daze, but it only works on humanoids. Or oh, she had an option for something poopy, but. The problem is, is that she wants to go in and um, tank it by herself. So she runs in and just drops dead. She's the only one that does any real damage. Blood for Gorum! Wow. Yeah, we can stab it in the back. So the other option is we go straight in for a heal instead of a freebooter. Unless that will do it. <coughs> that, that, that works on anything. Make her run back and she'll... Opportunity of attack. Lindsay. I'll survive. I always survive. Of course you did. Of course you did. Uh, <laughs> uh, we don't got 
Sorry. What? <laughs> it's not 75. Could be worse, and will be. Definitely will be. Oh, why are you getting hit? Can I double cast match? No, we only get one rank of it. Uh, one, yeah, one, one allotment of it. I do have a potion of enlarge though. I can't keep this up much longer. <clears throat> we just got no damage deal. Oh, you guys are all dead, dead. Twenty-five is pretty decent. I think we just need to come back. Tavia is hitting four damage. Where's the hit we're getting with um? Where's the hit from Amiri? It's just all miss, 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 miss. Plus nine. <laughs> we need to roll a 16. Uh, so I, I, I did a casual play for a little bit and I did have momentary relief where I thought I was having fun because we'd come out of a like just a brutal situation um, on the first night <clears throat> and then I was thinking about it afterwards whenever I've done that with games I don't have fun like that's what a movie's for you know what I mean well for me at least that's how I feel um, and, and if I was doing that I wouldn't want to stop and read the dialogue and get hints on where to go and do stuff I would just like power play through it to the point that it I, I would just be playing purely to try and finish it and you know what's the point like whereas working out if we can do it or winning combats like I enjoy that but not to the point where I think uh, I think this one might be doable but it's going to be a stretch <laughs> but there is an option of just running in with her and um not attacking and letting Valerie go in and tank <clears throat> might try that might just let her run in and get her to use that potion straight away or does she even charge in So by the time we get there, oh, he does get to charge him at least. <laughs> I'm gonna go for the heal there. Let's see if it does anything differently. We're trying to get Lindsay to land a heal here. I'll survive. I always survive. Okay. Yes. 
save. Okay, Lindsay, no point. <laughs> Let's change that heel to go here. No. You can just check out the stats here as well. I had a look at it before. I wonder what lies beyond. Anyone, uh, anyone see that? <laughs> I, I, we did get a, a look at it for a second. How does the permadeath work? Um, uh, sorry, I've never had anyone <laughs> be dead at the end of combat yet. Anytime someone's died in combat, it's been a party wipe anyway. Oh. Time becomes distance. So this is the option for me to make her invisible here. What for Gorum? Ah. Oh. So if if you end up negative more than your positive health, I think it is. So she's got an 11, so if she ends up at negative 11 or more. So a crit, a crit's always going to, like, even a non-crit's probably going to do it for her here. This won't kill me. An ambush, eh? Repent! Okay, so she's vanished. Survived. I always survive. Apparently not. <clears throat> oh, she is. She just runs in. Like, I think we need to come back at a higher level. I think on the luckiest of rolls we could get there, but I, I don't want to play it out till we get like that. Especially since, like, <clears throat> in the tomb event. There was different strategies because we had multiple enemies in different locations, so we were able to try different things and got closer and closer and then got it. Whereas this one, there's one enemy, she runs in by herself and there's nothing you can do about it. Oh, God. <laughs> Never mind. 